In this tutorial, we're going to cover importing images. So under the file menu, under import, import image file is part of the standard software, basic and pro. Everybody has the import image file. So click that. And then we have an option here to import from file or from clipboard. Clipboard means that if you have copied the image from somewhere else, this is like hitting paste and it'll paste it into this window. Uh, most of the time you're probably just picking it up from a file that you downloaded from the internet or a file that you created somewhere. So let's click from file. And then we're going to navigate to where our files we want to import are. Um, I've got a few on my desktop here. Let's start off with this logo. This is actually the carve right logo badge okay so it comes in here you've got these yellow crop marks if you need to crop the image you can move those but if it, you like it how it is then go ahead and just hit the next button okay so you can see here that it has automatically converted this to depth and it's done this based on the difference between the lights and dark colors so the black is a very prominent color and then the white and yellow are, are recessed there quite a bit probably almost at the same level so, since uh, yellow is so light a color but one problem we have with this and this is a problem that every single person who starts importing in images to make patterns deals with is this square shape here this is going to carve this is now part of this pattern, but if you're just trying to import this circle part and you don't want this rectangular part to carve as part of it, you need to get rid of that. And the easiest way to do this is right here in the import image window. Use this tool here called raise lower and then click that down arrow and that actually lowers it so the background just got lowered out of the, the file. So now we just have the isolated circle part of the image that we wanted to import. We can also adjust size here if need to and a default depth. These are settings I don't usually mess with unless, uh, unless I really need something to be a very specific exact size because I can always resize it once it's in the software. Same with depth. I can always readjust the depth once I put it on my board so depending on the size now floor edges is an important tool as well so what this means is this this line here that goes all the way down to the bottom depth edge if you don't click on floor edges you can see how it closed that gap is that it's going to if I put a feather on this this feather is going to be jagged along this line and then it's going to come up all the way here to the same surface level and then come back down and I'm gonna have a very irregular feather line around this entire thing by clicking floor edges which is always on by default anyways it's going to give me a nice clean line that's going to drop the edge of my pattern all the way down to the the depth level consistently on all sides okay now that these adjustments are made, let's click finish and we're going to add it to our favorites folder. And we can create a folder for it if we want to. So when you're in your favorites, you can click new category and I can create a folder called logos. I can save the file here. CW logo badge. Click save. So now when I click on the blue shell to open that pattern library, underneath my favorites, I'm going to have a new folder in here called logos. And if I click on that, there's my pattern and I can drop it on the board. And just like any other pattern that we've been working with, this is now uh, going to be treated exactly the same way. You can size it, scale it, adjust the depth, merge it with other patterns, 
whatever it is that you will need to do with it to make your sign project. Okay, let's import a different kind of image next. <laughs> 